it's Lady Rainasaro here, and uh, welcome to a brand new playthrough that I have been dying to do since I first bought the game, The Walking Dead by Telltale Games. So, anyways, oh my god, I have been dying to play this game. I've played, I will say this, I have played half, I think half, of the first episode. I got to meet up with Glenn, with his group prior to the main group, uh, Progress is Saved, yeah. Um, pretty much, I met up with him, and then I stopped, because I'm like... I really should record this, because from what I hear, this is such an emotional game. If it's as emotional as the TV show, like, I know that this has nothing to do with the actual TV show, which is my absolute favorite, favorite TV show of all times. But besides that, um, but besides that, I know this has nothing to do with the TV show, and, uh... But, uh, oh God, what was I saying before? I don't know. I'm just so excited. I, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna play. Yeah. It's a new game. So, pretty much as I said, I played maybe a quarter or a third. I don't know how long these episodes are. All I know is that I have all five episodes. And I got as far as maybe a fourth way through the first one. Yeah, this episode. I only got, like... Past the demo part, past Herschel's farm. And I just started the event in Herschel's farm when you're in the convenience store. If you guys know what I'm talking about. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, you're, you'll see soon. But um, but yeah, pretty much right where that's where I left off with this. And I have not... So I know what's going to happen from the beginning here up until we get to the convenience store. When we get to the convenience store, beyond that point... Um, I have no idea what's going on. So excited! Dun, dun, dun. A new day. Oh, wait. Hold on. Uh, settings. No. Okay, good. Subtitles are on. Sorry, guys. I had to check. Okay, resume. So, yeah, all I know is that this main character guy, his name is Lee. And that's it. And this dude. That's about it. Your wee's well, going to jail. I reckon you didn't do it then. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Every time? Every time. Right. Rearview mirror? Rearview mirror? Oh. I followed your case a little bit. You being a Macon boy and all. You're from Macon, then? Yep, came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. I always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. A real shame, that is. Uh-oh. Hey, I, I 
whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Dude? I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. Was. You meet your wife in Athens? Yeah. You want to know how I see it? Well, that's ominous. Sure. Grr, I'm angry. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fellow. Uh -oh. with soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Oh, goody. That's... And before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. That's Dude, watch property. the road. And I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed in himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Ominous saying. Oh, I got another there. good one for you. This dude. One's a little bit less depressing dude. and a bit dude. more dude. If I do say so. Oh, shit. This other time. Fucking oh, Well, that just ruined my perfect day. It's really loud. I gotta turn that down. Holy hell. Welcome to the zombie apocalypse, folks. So yeah, as you can tell right away that this game is very cinematic and I want to try my best to stay quiet during the times that characters are talking. And obviously you can tell how Lee responds. Uh, depends on uh, which choice I did. Oh, shit. I love it how Lee gets tossed around like a rag doll. Uh, fuck. My leg. Ouch. I love it how he gets tossed around more than the cop dude, and the cop dude's the one that dies. Yeah, see? Oop. Eh. Hey! Hey, officer! Are you alright? I'm still cuffed back here! Oh, yes, he looks totally fine. I mean, can't you tell by the blood smear and the way his body is all mangled up next to a rock? <sighs> Why the hell did he have his gun out? Dun, dun, dun. Officer? Oh, that doesn't look good. He wasn't ejected from the car. Oh, no. No, he was not. Nom, 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 zombies. Maybe it was tossed from the car during the wreck. Highly doubt that, but... He's not moving. Nope. He must have the handcuff keys on him. Oh, can I look at my way out of my car right now? Uh. Let's kick that door in. Uh. Or, window. Uh. Watch out. Let's get I out of here. I need to drag myself out that right. window. We've seen people handcuffed in zombie apocalypses before, and they are fine. Ow. Nine one one, help! Come on, keep moving. Come on, Lee. 
I want his gun. Oh yeah, I can't pick it up with the handcuffs, you dumb shit. Looks empty. Well, damn. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Exactly. So, what be this? Godly, get your balance, man. Trust me, one bullet saves lives. Oh. Officer? Officer, I'm coming to help you. Don't worry. God damn. There you go. I'm like, am I close enough? First time I played this, this scared this part scared the shit out of me. Shit. This scared the shit out of me because it's like, oh my god. It's right next to his face. That <gasps> freaked you out. For now. Tedious oops. Did they get it? Okay. Officer. Ah! Rrr, my zombie. What in the hell? Where be if that shotgun? Get away from me! Shotgun. God damn it, Lee! Do this. Bam! Headshot. I win. For now. Man. His skin's all rotten and he smells like shit. What the hell is this? He obviously did not read his zombie survival guide. Are you dead? Hey! Are you dead? I did just You just shot him in the head. You see his skull is split open right about here. Uh, he of course he's fine. I mean, pff, come on. Oh. Help! Go get someone. There's been a shooting. Yeah, that's going to be quite common. Yeah, there's been a shooting, and guess who's coming to the tea party? Can I move yet? Oh god. Oh god. Oh. Limp! Limp for your life! That's not limping right. I said limp! Don't trip! Tripping is not a good idea, especially in the zombie apocalypse. You trip, you die. <laughs> Lee, come on! Get up, man! <laughs> go, 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 go! Jump the one! <laughs> well, that was fun. <laughs> 